welcome to this new video from the ASAR 3D channel. We will see together how to integrate 3D objects in a video clip with a moving camera. We will also see how to use the FSPY software to place the ground correctly and more precisely without using the blender options. If you want to dig deeper into the subject, I recommend these two videos. The first will help you install and use FSPY and the second will show you how to use motion tracking to stabilize a video. We will start by uploading our video clip and setting up Blender so that everything is ready to properly cover the topic of this video. Start by creating a new VFX file. Then delete the top areas that will not be useful to you. Now open the video clip you want to use. Change the renderer to cycles and change the color management settings as standard. We are not going to change the colors in this video. Now make sure that Blender's formats match those of the video. We are now going to ask Blender to identify and count the frames of the video in order to determine its length. We will then ask it to prefetch the frames in order to fluidify the animation in the viewport. First, set the scene frames and run the prefetch. A progress bar appears, but, in our case, stops halfway. In fact, Blender is limited in terms of cache memory. To resolve this problem, go to Preferences and increase the size of the cache. Once done, restart the prefetch. We are now going to modify the default tracking parameters in the display clip to make it easier to set up tracking. Modify the options of the tracking's settings as indicated. I will explain the reasons to you then. Taking into account the movement of the camera and the change of perspective, we will use the perspective option of the motion model. The other modes are in fact more suited to changes made on a fixed shot. Both match mode options have their pros and cons, but given the large rotation of the camera, I think comparing the active image to the previous image is more appropriate than comparing the active image to a fixed image. The Normalize option allows you to normalize the intensity of the light between two frames and thus facilitate the tracking of markers. This option is therefore quite useful. The smaller the margin of error in tracking markers, the less jumping between frames. The goal is to strike a balance between the resolution of the tracking and the quality of the motion. In our case, a correlation of 0.9 seems a good compromise. Now activate the Search, Info and 3D Markers checkboxes. To track an image, the tracker needs to know what to look for and the area to look for. Activating the Search option brings up the Search box. This zone can then be adapted to suit your needs. The info checkbox indicates the name of the tracker as well as the average error of the motion solver. You can immediately identify the good trackers from the bad ones. Activation of the 3D markers makes it possible to detect whether the marker is of good quality. Good markers have a green dot, bad markers have a red dot. We are now going to place the markers so that there are always 8 active markers in the active frame. We will then solve the movement and deal with the errors to ensure the quality of the tracking. It's time to place our markers. Choose contrasting places if possible and add markers with the control left mouse button. You must place at least 8 markers for motion tracking to work. You can adjust the search area using the right handle. Remember that the larger the area, the longer the computation time. 
With the S key you can modify the size of the marker. You will notice that I am placing my markers on the right side of the image. The reason is that I want to use these markers as long as possible before they go out of view of the camera. The ladder indeed rotates to the right. I have now placed all my markers and at least 10 are still active during each frame. I will now start the track process by selecting them all at once. I can also do it marker by marker. We are now going to run the solve and see the quality of the result. The blue line corresponds to the result of the solve camera motion. The resolution result is 0.79, which is not bad as it is less than 1. However, a result of less than 0.5 is recommended to prevent the objects you are going to insert from behaving erratically during motion tracking. We will try to refine the result by modifying the parameters of the solve menu. The solve error is 0.16 which is very good. We will now be able to move on to positioning the floor of our scene. We will now try to place the ground using the set floor function. We will see that without precise markers, Blender will have difficulty placing the ground correctly. Only a manual repositioning or a tedious treatment on the markers can then solve the problem. We will then quit Blender to resolve the issue with the free FSPY software. Let's start by displaying the 3D viewport and setting up the background and the tracking scene. To align the floor, you must choose three markers that represent the floor, click on the floor button and pray that it works. I didn't pray hard enough. Let's try other markers. Let's see another solution together. Go to the compositing viewport and link only the clip to the composite node, then render the frame 1 and save. Open FSPY and load the image that corresponds to frame 1. Now place the X and Y axis so that they correspond to the axes in your image. Display the grid and place it at the origin center of your floor. Make the necessary changes and save the image in FSPY format. Now go back to Blender and, 
After removing the changes made in the compositing viewport, import the FSPI camera. Add the camera solver constraint to this camera, so that it inherits the markers. Your floor is now placed correctly. Everything is ready. We can now add objects, set the sun, improve the compositing, enlarge the size of the ground, and render. Now you can focus on your scene by importing objects as you wish. Do not forget to place your sun in function of the video clip. All you have to do is start rendering and appreciate the result. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Other types of videos are available on my channel.